little bit right here. And then last, and absolutely not least, and it's actually not last, hold on, I don't know exactly what I was saying, and plus we still have the whole other color pattern to do. Hey everybody, and welcome to the Roblox, okay, oh no. <sighs> we are playing Build to Survive Zombies, and so here's my little plot, and immediately right off the bat, there are lava zombies didn't even let me do my intro. We just got to get right into it. Okay, here we go. Um, I want to try to build something a little bit different than what I usually do. Okay, for now though, real quick, let's just build a platform because we need that initial safety net. We got to make sure that those zombies don't, they don't come up to us. Oh, no, sorry, Bob, they don't. Okay, so we got our platform. I'm not sure if they can actually attack us whenever we're on the platform like this, but now we need to think, 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 think. We got to do something to these zombies. We got to mess them up. What's something a little different we can do with our base? Did someone just place a brick on my plot? How did that work there? Okay, well, no. Anyways, we got to find a way that we can do this differently than usual. Okay, so let's obviously start off with a nice little platform here. And I always, obviously you want a base that can fight back, you know, so that you're not doing all the, all the work yourself. All right, so. Hmm. 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 Well, um... We could, I kind of like what that guy has going. He's got a ladder and stuff. Actually, wait, where's the ladders? I want to figure this out. Is that an advanced building? <gasps> oh, it is an advanced building. Look at that. Okay. Um, how should we do this then? So we should put it. Okay. Well, so then what we'll do is we'll actually center things. Okay, sweet. So we're going to do this. And then, ooh, so you can just keep building up, except that really didn't go well at all. Okay, that was weird. Hey, there you go, and you know we survived. Well, actually, no, we didn't survive. We died right off the bat, actually. We did not do good there at all. I need to place the ladder nicely here. How high do I want this ladder to go? I think that's a pretty good height right there. Ew, why is it ever so slightly off like that? Is this person's ladder ever so slightly off? No. How come there? How come mine looks so poopy? Ew! Look at that ladder. That is not straight at all. Look at that. Why does it? Oh wow! Whoops. Okay. So wait, hold on. What did it just say? What are the next zombies? It said raging something. The next zombies will occur in 98 seconds. Oh boy. Okay. Let's uh, see if that is lined up properly. Uh, it's not lined up properly. Why is it not lined up properly? That is super weird. That is super weird and I don't understand it. Oh, unless you're supposed to... Oh, I've got an idea. What if you're supposed to do this? You first take this and then you start building up. And then you have to put the ladder onto the thing. Eh? Eh? Maybe. Maybe we'll see here. Okay, hold on. So what if I do this then? Boom. Hey, there you go. That's how it's done. Ooh, and then this guy's got man see his base is pretty tall though well then again though you know mine's gonna be nice and mine's gonna be efficient you know we're going for efficiency here all right um well let's see what kind of colors we can get going then do we want some nice colors i think so i think we do why don't we go for a nice red Ooh, we can get a nice nice red upper Upper deck, we'll have some red going. That way these zombies, oh, these zombies won't see what hit them, you know? We don't actually need the base to be that big. There we go, sweet. And then, oh, ooh, we should have some orange as well. Oh, I've got an idea. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. Okay, so check this out, guys. You think, you think that this base, you think that this is it? You think that's what I was going for right here this whole time? No. No, 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 I'll show. Oh, I have even a better idea just now. Okay, wow, this is gonna be, it's too much to explain just at once. Wait, these guys aren't gonna come up here, right? Oh, that's right, lava zombies, do your worst. Uh-oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I have a feeling that they can somehow sneak their way on if they manage to like, squirm over each other. Okay, anyways, check this out, guys. So I got a really crazy idea. Uh, this is kind of looking like looking like a McDonald's not gonna lie got a very uh, McDonald's -y color scheme going right now, but no check this out. Oh, no that guy died over there Oh, that is tragic. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the stone as essentially Oh, no, no, no. How did they get up here? Oh? <gasps> what they killed me instantly. Oh, man Okay, well quickly back on my base. See clearly this base is not safe enough. Okay, so I need to build this up and then 
I'm gonna use the stone as a base to essentially allow us to move the entire base. I think that's how it's gonna work. I'm not entirely sure. I will admit it. I'm not entirely sure exactly how it works. Okay, uh, and then we go like this. All right. Well, first off, this is real good that I'm that I'm two above them now. They now they have no chance of getting on. But check this out. So now we get rid of that. Okay, and then we can put down. Hmm, how should we do this? Uh, we could just do it like this. Okay, there we go. So check this out, right, Chia. So if we go to the ladders and then plop those down right quick. Okay, and then. We go to the delete Mandubadoo, <laughs> the the delete tool. Then watch this. We get rid of everything under here, and then actually, man, I haven't survived yet. I haven't survived. What? Actually, wait, no. Did I survive the last ones? I don't remember what the last ones were, unless it was just lava zombies again. Okay, so I'm actually gonna keep one thing down like that, so that I can quickly put a couple things so say for example it's almost like it's almost like little uh it's like a little gate or something that would be nice um i don't really have anything like that though i need a way to keep them from trap door oh man you can have trap doors and stuff okay well i was thinking more like some sort of gate that wouldn't allow them to come into the base so easily uh like a house kit maybe some sort of fence and you got a nice door and stuff castle kit as well maybe this is gonna have some sort of fence i could use like a castle wall okay no never mind that's just the material hmm i'm not entirely too sure then i guess let's go with the deadly and then uh what did this guy do what is this weird green thing here hey what are you ow hey what are you doing oh no i'm stuck in this weird what did this guy do to me there's some platform stuck on me now hey what is what gives man what is what was that all about? Can I not get rid of this? What did this guy just do to me? Ah, oh, moving spikes. Oh my goodness. Wait, hold on. How do I I want to attach it to the side though. I can't attach it like to the side of my hmm. Can I do it with Well, nah, eh, I could still probably do spikes just like this. Boom. See that? Oh yeah, a little bit of that. And then here we go. We should completely surround this. Oh, yeah, just like that. Uh, wait, hold on. This is in the way here. This is going to be the craziest base of all time. I'm saying that right now. I am not saying it. I'm declaring it. I'm declaring that this is going to be the craziest base of all time. And there's nothing these zombies will be able to do about it. So see? So now because the spikes are moving, I can be going in and out, going crazy. And the base also looks super weird, but I like it. There are giant zombies. Wow. Okay. Um... Oh, there they are. Yep. Giant zombies indeed. Oh, boy. Hello. Uh, you're not gonna crush my base, are you? Oh! He can just go right through them. He does not care. Wow. This is probably one of the hardest built-to-survive game modes I've ever played. Because they just... They will just come crashing through your base. Then he's chasing me. He's cornering me into the wall. No. Wow. What am I supposed to do about this? Oh no, that guy just exploded. Okay, so it looks like every time the giant zombies kill someone, they disappear. So I should somehow use that to my advantage. So essentially, I should just, uh, I should use other people as bait. That's really my only option here. Oh, I can open shop. What's in the shop? Pistol. Oh, I can get the M1921. But I don't have any points, though, and I can't buy points, can I? I don't have any points, so... Uh, <laughs> Alright, well, looks like I can't get the gun, then. What am I supposed to do about all these giant zombies, man? That is... that is too much to deal with right there. Okay. Oh, oh excuse me. What did that just say? It just came up with a little note. Uh, excuse me, I literally just woke up. It is very early in the morning right now, hence the blanket, actually. I usually don't wear a blanket. Um, I do sometimes. Uh, I think I've actually only ever done it once in one of my videos. I'm just waiting for these zombies to go, by the way, because there's nothing I can do about them. They are just crushing everything in sight. Um, yeah, it's super early, and it's still a little bit cold, so this blanket is oh so nice right now. Oh, I love it. I love wearing a blanket around the shoulders that I can get all wrapped up. Oh... 
Ooh, I'm like a superhero. Yeah, nobody survived. <laughs> All right. So now if we come back to this base, yep, yeah, okay. So let's see, how should we do this? How should we go about doing this base here? Hmm? Did this guy die trying to come in with the spikes? Interesting. Oh, I have a crazy idea. Okay, hold on. Uh, we go to deadly machines and then we go to actually, here's what I should do. Well, eh. Now nah, we'll do some. We'll do the more fun version. We are going to surround this with so many moving spikes that it's going to be almost like an obby if you want to actually come into my into my base. So here's what we're gonna do. Already watch this. Boom, boom, boom. Another one back here. Oh no, I accidentally. Oh great. The thing is, I don't mind other people coming into my base. So that's why it's okay for it to be like human friendly. But uh, the zombies, on the other hand, those. Those are the ones that need to get tricked. So there you go. You see, it's not too bad. It's a, it's a little more monster proof now, or zombie proof, I should say. Okay. Um, so what now? Now I need to. Now I need to somehow have this move. I'm just. I'm not entirely too sure how to do that. Fun machines, maybe. Um, uh, float pad sideways elevator. We can try the float pad. Should we try the float pad on... Okay, I've got an idea. Let's try the float pad on something. We're going to do some testing right here. Ooh, this is it going to be good? So we're going to put a little test block right here. Um, which will be that. So it's not attached to anything. And then we go to the fun machines. And we go to float pad. And we attach it to that. And how does that work? Okay, so that's for me. That's not for the blocks to move. That's for me to move. Okay, that's not what I want then. What is it that I want? Friend only door... Space kit could be the space kit space hatch interior hall hallway floor space bed Okay, hold on. Let me get back into the base. Oh boy. Okay. There we go You see the, the lava zombies, you know, they're not posing too much of a threat now. I really want to know Ooh, I can get some trees and stuff get a nice little mailbox. I'm gonna put a little mailbox here. There we go Got mail. <laughs> Ah, that was terrible. Okay, I could have sworn there was a way to make your to make your base move. I'm not entirely too sure how though. If only I had a gun. That's what I need. Oh, let's see if this guy can get into my base. Here we go. Let's put him to the test. Okay, yeah, he made it, and it's not that bad. Hello, hello, sir. All right. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh, oh. Let's come up here. We can fight off these zombies. <laughs> this is probably one of the most zombie-proof bases I've made in a very long time. I will say, usually when I make these bases, they're not actually that monster-proof, and they usually get um, messed up quite quickly. Here we, we just, we're gonna destroy the last one, and now we are officially on the ground. We can be moved. We can. We are a moving base, and that doesn't quite mean anything, considering did that person's whole. How did... What happened there? How is that still floating? <laughs> oh, oh, I've got an idea. I'm gonna do something real crazy. Okay, here we go. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build this up. And then I, th I feel like you guys have a feeling... I feel like you guys know what I'm sort of up to here. I feel like you guys might actually... You know, you might be catching on right here. You know, you might be, uh, you might be thinking to yourself. You might be thinking, hey, Dennis, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to... Yay, I survived this one! Hooray! We are going to build this out so much to the point where when I destroy it... Oh my goodness me. Oh, the things. Oh, the things that will happen. Alright, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. We gotta make it like a nice big square. And then when I destroy it, the whole thing will come crashing down. Just like a little fun side thing to do while we survive the zombie apocalypse. But I'm not entirely too sure exactly how we're going to do this. So what happens if I just have this giant pad on my base? I probably shouldn't have put it literally directly over my base. Um, I could just build it this way. And then that way... Um, oh, here we go. Oh, that's a super fast way of doing it. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. You see, not too bad. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, man, this is like Minecraft. Oh, my goodness me. That is going so fast. What a fast way of building a square. 
Nice! I can't step to the side anymore because I will fall to my death on my own spikes. Okay, here we go. This is good, this is good. You know, we're, we're gonna make a very, very unnecessary platform. It's gonna be great. Okay, just like that. Okay, sweet. So now what? Oh, there's a little hole in there. Wait a second. See, look at that person's platform over there. The whole thing fell. Okay, let's try this out. I kind of want to do it whenever the zombies come, though. Okay. How exactly should we... Should we build on this side as well? We could. I could have made it a cool pattern. You know what? There is still room to make it a cool pattern. We're going to get some blue on there. We're going to do an ice block. Oh, yeah. We're going to do it for every second one. Just like that. Oh, yeah, just like that. Just like that. Here we go. Okay, we got 20 seconds here. So let's see if we can... I'm going to build it up, build it up. Here we go. And then a little bit of here. A little bit right here. And then last, and absolutely not least, and it's actually not last. Hold on. I don't know exactly what I was saying. And plus, we still have the whole other color pattern to do. Okay, here we go. This is going to be crazy. And ice zombies. Whoa, what better zombies could have been chosen? While I'm placing down these ice blocks. Oh, yeah. Hello, ice zombies. Do your waste. Do your waste. What are you gonna do, huh? You're gonna come up onto my base and get stabbed by the spikes? Yeah, that's what I thought, ice zombies. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. So then we should do blue and orange. Yes. Do some blue and orange action going right here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here we go. And we just keep clicking away. We're going to be done any second now. Oh, goodness me. Here we go. This is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. If you want a giant platform to... Oh, no. This little cowboy guy was struggling to get into my base there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Wow, that was brutal. And all the ice zombies are looking at him as well. They're just looking. They didn't even have to kill them. My spikes killed him. Technically, I'm the one... I am the murderer in this situation. Okay, so that's a pretty nice looking pattern, I gotta say. I like it. It almost looks like a circus tent. So now, we gotta let it come crashing down. Hold on, I need to wait for the spikes. Alright, and here we... Oh. <laughs> a zombie got into my base. Oh, that is embarrassing. And then as soon as I respawned, I died instantly. Oh, that is just fantastic. Okay. Excuse me, I zombies, I need to get back into my base. Oh, careful. Okay, here we go, ready? I am going to topple this over, and boom! And here it goes. Oh, <gasps> wow! You know what this totally just turned into? <gasps> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. You know what this just turned into? I'll tell you what it just turned into. It turned into a whole new base of its own. Everyone can come up here, they can just, they can hang out, they can hang out, it's like this new, and then it has a little support beam here to support over my base. This is a pretty fancy base now, I gotta say, it's turned into something completely different. Wow, here we go, you know, ladies and gentlemen, that is how it is done right there. That's a good one right there, that's a good base. That's probably one of the better bases that I've done for sure. Again, not quite what I intended considering I wanted the whole thing to fall over. Why don't we actually try doing that? Why don't we try just going boom, 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 boom. Oh man, oh, here we, here it goes. And then, this is totally gonna hit. This is whoever, <laughs> whoever is on this plot over here, totally is just had some of their plot taken up by my base for no reason. I am just taking it up. Not very nice of me, I gotta say. Oh, is there a random, what is this? It's a toilet. It's a fallen over toilet. Why do I have Coral's face now? <laughs> I, I get Coral's face whenever I need to poop. Oh, that is not, wow, that is, I don't even know what kind of a face that is. That just means I'm pooping really hard. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, ah, I would like to thank you all so much for joining me for another Roblox adventure. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. If you did, be sure to leave a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more daily Roblox adventures. Don't forget, I know you can really see it in this video because I'm wearing the blanket, but you can check out my I Love Cats shirt. You can get it at DennisDaily.com or there's a link in the description below. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next adventure.